I make a boneless masala fish curry with kalonji, tomatoes and curry patta. This is a recipe I'm sharing boneless with you. Boneless cubed sole fish, tomatoes, onions, curry leaves, lal mirchi, green chilies, coriander, ginger, garlic, tomato paste and these masala. Here's a tip for you. If you're making boneless fish curry, you must fry the fish pieces in oil to seal the deal. If you don't, the fish will break up and flake into bits in your curry and that will not be nice. Today I have a little bit of mustard oil and regular oil. And oil is very hot and I place the fish pieces in it. If the oil is not hot, the fish will stick to the pan. Overcook it, remove it from the oil and put it on a plate. Oil, I'm going to add some onions, dried red chilies and curry leaves. And saute this. Next up is ginger garlic. Saute this. Then some salt, coriander, cumin powder, turmeric powder, red chili flakes, Kashmiri lal mirch powder, and a little bit of kalonji. I list exact ingredients in post. And saute this. Add a splash of water to get rid of the masala smell. And now adding diced tomatoes. Saute this. A little more water. And let's cover and cook this. And slowly the oil is rising to the top. The color at this point, I'm going to add some tomato paste. A little more water to loosen the consistency. This is smelling divine. I am going to add the fish pieces in. I don't want the fish to break. Adding a wee bit of water to make gravy. Mixing this gently. I have some green chilies, coriander and ginger spices. And let all of that infuse with the fish. Cover it for just two minutes. Turned off the fire. It's really delicious. Fish curry is ready. I'm going to have it with rice. Let's try this. Okay. Now look, the fish hasn't broken up into bits. That's so good. The ginger at the end. The green chilies. The curry is so good. You could use it for a prawn curry as well. I like it. I like the kalonji a lot. Now the question is, are you going to make it?